And joining us from Miami is defense attorney Roy Black, who has defended high-profile clients like Kelsey Grammer, Rush Limbaugh, and William Kennedy Smith. And good morning to you, Roy. Good morning. So it seems like, and Elaine just laid this out, there have been leaks every day in this case. There have been new members of each individual's family coming to the table, sharing details about the two individuals. How difficult is that going to be with this very public narrative taking place for someone to defend George Zimmerman? Well, it's extremely difficult today, particularly in a case like this. When you have a case where the President of the United States is commenting on it, you have Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, you know, rounding up an electronic uh, lynch mob, and you have uh, all kinds of parades and demonstrations, it becomes very, very difficult to defend the case because the entire community becomes poisoned. They all want to be on the right side. So, so it's it just a horrible situation. I'm curious to know, do you think Craig Sonner then, um, the attorney for George Zimmerman, has made a mistake here in taking Zimmerman on as a client? Well, no, some, you know, lawyers, our job is to take on unpopular cases. I mean, if we shied away from representing people like George Zimmerman, our system of justice would mean nothing. Everybody is presumed innocent. The burden's on the prosecution. Even today, with all this outrageous comments about the case, a defense lawyer still has to take it on and do the best that they can. Uh, one of the defenses here of George Zimmerman is that this was done in self-defense, that he shot Trayvon Martin after um, being inflicted by injuries by Trayvon Martin. But in the surveillance video that we have now seen, this footage, you see a Zimmerman that doesn't appear to have had any bodily har harm inflicted on him. How difficult is that going to be to defend? Well, you know, it's very hard to parse through the facts here. We only know a, a partial part of the story. I mean, did he get treated by the paramedics before he goes on video? I mean, who really knows what went on here? But let's face it, if he doesn't have any injuries, if he doesn't have a broken nose, if he doesn't have a bloody head, he's going to have a very difficult time because obviously Trayvon Martin didn't have a weapon. So he's going to have to show that Martin was the aggressor and that he was fighting back. And, and all this commentary about the Florida stand your ground law really is irrelevant. The question is, was Martin the aggressor and was this man Zimmerman actually defending himself against something that was serious? All right, Roy Black, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it.